Hi guys, you will have just watched the rather sad crash of my Z110 on the maiden flight using these T-Motor carbon fibre props. Um, fortunately, nothing too bad, all repairable. The uh, dampening system on this works really well in the sense that it's only held on with rubber dampeners. Popped off, does exactly what it should do. Good, uh, good note there for anyone who's thinking of buying one. The reason that I've had this crash, um, basically the T-Motors, the MT versions, which is the ones that I'm running, for these props to fit, you don't use the two holes. Uh, the MN motors, you literally you physically bolt the prop straight down into the motor, makes it nice and secure. With the MT versions, you have to put the spline adapter on like this. You then put a little, um, a little reducer ring inside the prop. Um, it then slides down onto the bottom of there, and then you add this nut. If I can pick it up, you fit this little washer on there that sits on top of it and then you fit the retaining nut and the idea is of course the retaining nut will screw down that thread and it will push nice and firmly evenly on the motor problem that I've got that worked brilliantly on three of my motors but the spline on this motor the thread doesn't go far enough and now that that nut there is physically as tight down on the thread as it will go without actually having to re-thread it and herein lies the problem. So this wasn't actually that bad, this has been worsened by the crash, um, but basically what happened is that it was pinched, it was doing exactly what it should do, and then as the um, as the torque of the motor has, propped, um, has, has moved on, it's, um, it's come loose. So all of a sudden in flight, the motor's been able to just happily spin with the prop not doing anything. All the other motors are absolutely fine. Indeed, this one, which I've just set up like this, so at the moment that will move around. But if I tighten this down, and even if I do this hand tight with this nut, like that, as you can see, there's no slip. So the thread on this one is just about long enough. Obviously, this is a wake up call because, as far as I'm concerned, if there's any chance of that happening again, given the fact that these things are so expensive and everything else is, um, there needs to be a solution. One solution is that T-Motors do sell, and why they don't include them in the kit, I have no idea. Um, they sell knurled um, retaining nuts, which are actually threaded. So in other words, the clockwise um, threads have some grippers, which stop the propeller spinning round. They don't include them with the kit, and as far as I can find in the UK, I cannot find them at all available. Um, uh, and no idea how much they are, no idea really where to get them from, so I'm going to do a bit of investigation on that. It kind of annoys me that they don't include that on a set of props that are this expensive, on the understanding that potentially with their own motors you can have an accident like I did, even if you tighten it as hard as you can. But um, anyway, I will endeavour to repair and I will get back in the air.